a managerial saga tends to embody death of a horse race and with Manchester United's hunt to find Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's long-term successor that has never been more true. In the running has been the likes of Luis Enrique, Mauricio Pochettino, and Eric Ten Hag, but only one of them has made it over the final jump and into the home stride. That happens to be Ten Hag, someone who has always been front and center of most races he's competed in. Indeed, the Dutch coach has an impressive CV, winning the Eredivisie on two occasions and taking home the Netherlands domestic cup competition on the same number of occasions. He very nearly made it to the final for long in the Champions League too, only to be defeated by Pochettino's sports side in the semi-final back in 2018-19. However, it's funny how football works itself out because Ten Hag is now said to beat that very man to the hot seat at Old Trafford and he could also rise away one of Pochettino's main men of days gone by Harry Kane. United have often been linked with a move for the Tottenham striker and the summer is no different. That said, they may have to part ways with a whopping 100 million pound or even more according to claims made in recent days. Yet, if Ten Hag can finally bring the England captain to Man United, it would be a remarkable way to introduce himself to the club's fan base. To put things simply, he would become an instant hit with the Old Trafford crowd bringing a flair to United who could not only make their reboot easier, but also bring them closer to the title in the quicker fashion. United have often been linked with Erling Haaland too, but in can, someone dubbed an animal by football writer Andrew Gaffney, did discover someone who is arguably even better right now. The Norwegian powerhouse has admitted himself that the sports striker is better than him and considering his proven record in the Premier League, a move would certainly be less of a gamble. Haaland may have scored one more goal than the England international this term, but it's evident the latter provides you with much more than just being able to find the net. When it comes to short creating actions, Kane is out in front with 3.26 per 90 minutes compared to Haaland, 2.61 according to RB Ref. Furthermore, the progressive distance with which the former plays his faces is also considerably larger, averaging a whooping 115.8 yards for 90 compared to the Norway International's measly 38.8 yards. On top of that, Tottenham star man provides more from a defensive point of view, winning more pressures for 90 inside his own team's half and in the middle of the pitch. With that in mind, it looks as though the 28-year-old would be a far better acquisition for the present. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side.